From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Most people have heard of global warming. With nearly 7 billion people on the planet, the human race is burning more fossil fuel and eradicating the wilderness at a faster rate than ever before. This progress comes with consequences. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, an international group of scientists assembled by the United Nations, the average global temperature is increasing due to human activity. Changes in temperature can wreak havoc on the natural world, causing ice caps to melt and raising the sea level, destroying habitats of animals and potentially drowning countries like the Maldives entirely. Mainstream scientists largely agree that human activity has impacted global warming, but experts still debate the possible consequences. The world's countries are trying to address this problem with agreements like the Kyoto Protocol, which 187 countries have already signed. Environmentalists claim this is not enough, but there's another group in this debate, and they think global warming isn't just bad science, but a scam. Here's where it gets crazy. The debate over climate change and global warming has raged for years, and it isn't just conspiracy theorists who think the mainstream is misleading the public. For example, Senator James Inhofe famously called global warming the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. How? More importantly, why? While mainstream science is still attempting to gauge the effects of global warming, the conspiracy world has gone into overdrive, producing increasingly bizarre explanations for the phenomenon. According to climate change skeptic Myra Nebel, global warming is a hoax created by the European Union to damage the US economy. There's no evidence backing Nebel's accusation, but it is true that reducing greenhouse emissions would significantly shrink an economy powered by fossil fuel. And the US has not ratified the Kyoto Protocol, likely due to the severe economic impact. This certainly sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it's not the strangest. Some conspiracy theorists believe that global warming isn't just a hoax by a few countries, but by all of them. They believe that a global elite, what some would call the Illuminati, are manufacturing disasters to control the world's population. This theory is similar to theories about global control of food, the abolition of religion, or depopulation. Could it be true? According to numerous conspiracy theorists such as Alex Jones and David Icke, the global elite is carrying out a plan that involves all of these aspects. And these theorists certainly don't feel comfortable with research by international bodies, and there is no evidence of their claims. So where does this leave us? According to NASA, the atmospheric carbon dioxide is at its highest level in 6,500,000 years. Yet, according to analysts, the developing countries that did not sign the Kyoto Protocol will drastically increase their emissions in the near future, especially China and India. To mainstream science, these are not academic concerns because the clock is ticking. People who believe these theories may also believe time is running out. Not for the natural world, but for a group of conspiracists attempting to use fear to create a new world order. And, to these deniers, the truth about climate change is something they don't want you to know.